half hours before the standoff ended, the suspect held up a convenience store and may have tried to break into some homes. This is video from inside the convenience store. He then escaped partly because of an officer's mistake. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Rockland tonight with more on what happened there. Christina? Well, the police chief here in Rockland says his officers showed remarkable patience and restraint with a suspect who at different times asked them to shoot him and even sped toward them in one of their own cruisers they say he stole. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A chaotic 19-mile journey that began here at a normally quiet 7-Eleven in Rockland. Security video shows the robbery unfolding at gunpoint. When a regular customer came by moments later, police had shut the place down. It's like we just don't have any cash. And I was like, oh. And then I saw the police officer. So I'm like, did you guys get robbed? By then, another customer had already helped lead police to the suspect, who neighbors say even tried to get into a couple houses when a veteran officer approached him. My officer drew his service revolver, pointed it at him, uh, told him to get on the ground. He refused to comply with the commands and, in fact, put his arms up and challenged the officer to shoot him and walked at the officer. The chief says the officer tased the suspect, but that didn't work. The man then jumping into the officer's cruiser. The officers approached from the front of the vehicle, drew their service weapons, pointed it at the suspect in the vehicle. Um, he backed up for about 12 feet, put it in drive, and then sped towards the officers. That led to a chase joined by Abington police. One Abington officer hurt after he lost control, hitting a utility pole and landing upside down. A Weymouth cruiser also damaged. Meantime, inside the stolen Rockland cruiser, this is the broken bracket that was holding the officer's semi-automatic patrol rifle, normally released by an electronic key. He was able to bend the metal brackets and able to work that rifle out because he had so much time to do it. Fortunately, the suspect never did use that police weapon. Uh, we are told that the Abington and Weymouth officers who were uh, who crashed their cruisers during that pursuit are doing just fine. But there is still a missing weapon out there, the gun that was used in that robbery. Police are out now searching the area here for it as we speak. In Rockland, Christina Hager, WBC News. Christina, thank you.